Hi everyone. So today's lesson, um, there's not going to be any extra work set. So what I want you to do is I want you to copy what I do today, okay? And I, it's going to help hopefully with next lesson, okay? Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at rearranging the formulas. So last lesson we looked at finding one of the sides where you had to just take the get rid of the divide by doing a times okay so what we're going to look at today is the other one okay so it's when you're working out h in in so when you're working h in ka and when you're working out a in toa okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through with you how to rearrange the formulas so let's start with so, okay, so this is what it looks like. And how I always remember the formula for so, so a little reminder, is the middle number is always on the top part of the fraction, okay? So it's sine of the angle, so we'll just say sine x, equals O over H, okay? So this time, what we're going to be working out is H, Okay, um, so we've got to rearrange it. We've got to get H on its own. Okay, now what's, what some people think they do is they just need to get rid of this O under here, but that's not going to work. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to start off like we did with the last one where we take the H to this side. Okay, so it's not on the bottom of a fraction. We want to get it out of that. So basically, I'm going to multiply each side by H. Okay, so that's the first step. So sine x times h, so this is what we did last time, equals O. All right, so these are multiplied together now. So if I want to get h on its own, what I've got to do is I've got to get rid of this times by sine x. So I divide by sine x each side. Okay, so what I end up with is that h equals O over sine x. So what we've got here is we've got a, a trick. We can jump this step, okay? And these two basically switch places, okay? So if you're working out h, you need to, these need to switch places, okay? But this is the reason why that works, okay? So I want you to copy these down, so you'll have to pause the video when necessary for you to copy them down into your book, okay? So let's write here, working out H, okay? So the next one we'll do cat, so we'll do the same thing. So cos X equals A over H, so work out H. So what we do is we multiply each side by h, first of all. So I'm going to go through the process properly. And it's only if you understand that you are allowed to do the cheats way. Okay? And then to get h on its own, we divide each side by cos x. So this is going to help us for next lesson when we're working out the other sides. Okay? And the last one is Toa, okay, and we're, so we've got tan x equals O over A, and we're going to work out A. So it's whenever you're working out the denominator, that's when you're allowed to use that trick. But I'm doing it properly, so I multiply by A on each side. So tan x multiplied by a equals o and then I divide each side by tan x so a equals o over tan x so make sure that you've got these copied down in your book and that's your task for today and what we're going to do is we're going to use these next lesson for when we're finding the missing sides um, using trigonometry